Um, we are obviously living in very exciting times in the life sciences where technologies are being challenged in many directions with uh, miniaturization, with uh, solid modeling, uh, 3D printing, some, a lot of biotechnology. So, so what's happening is many times uh, test methods um, are they are we've traditionally thought of them as things like pull tests and flow tests and very very typical materials testing but we are now being challenged where the technology of the products and the processes is requiring us to make new test methods because we're testing things that had never been tested before so this this um webinar is a little bit different i'm not going to go into a lot of statistics or a lot of metallurgy or plastic. That's not what this is about. This is about situations that happen with test methods. And these were actually live, live cases and some of the challenges and how um, I was able to, to overcome them. So it, it adds a, a different flavor to, to test method validation. First of all, a couple of things. I am a partner in Atsari Consulting we provide services in the areas of manufacturing, engineering, and quality systems to medical device, biotechnology, and pharmaceutical customers. And a second company that I own is Atsari Enterprises, and we specialize in an area called lean documents and lean configurations. This particular uh, webinar is not about that, however, um, there are many that are, but right now we're focusing on test method validations. So to give you an overview, we're going to talk about some real life case studies to perform test method validations and to ensure your inspection of verification is effective. So think about what that means. When you're doing design controls, whether it be a product or a process, you're going to have certain requirements that have to be met. You have Those are your design inputs. You're going to have design outputs in the forms of drawings, in the forms of materials, many specifications. And then finally, you're, you need to verify that those outputs are meeting the inputs. Well, verification depends upon test methods. And before you can validate your process or your product, before you can verify you have to have valid test methods so these cases have to do with exactly those situations so the first case had to do with a multi-cavity injection molding uh, situation where the inspection fixtures were used to measure the output of the plastic molded parts Okay. The second one had to do with package seal integrity testing. And in this case, uh, we're, ta we're talking about um, header bags, pouches for, for sterile medical kits. The third case was a, a live installation a, or, a, or a full installation, turnkey installation of a washer disinfector system. Okay. The, so, so anyway, these cases were, we, so what we're going to do, we're going to discuss the FDA requirements for test method validation for providing, proving that your inspection method is repeatable and reliable. We're also going to understand global reference standards around them, but we're going to focus on the example, the focus is on the challenges of the situation as opposed to the statistical analysis of the gauge R&R or the design of designs of experiments. 